Okay, the first thing I'm doing is adding a uh, base coat of silver on the sides and uh, right up to the top. We don't necessarily need to paint the top because we're going to paint that a different color, but we do want to put a base coat on the sides and uh, get a nice smooth coat of silver here to get started with before we put our next color on. Kind of coming around here. All right, we just about got what we needed for the silver base coat. Next, we got to put the uh, hair dryer on it for about five minutes in a warm setting, and uh, dry that paint, and then we'll be ready for our next coat. Okay, I'm drying it with a hair dryer now. I usually spend about three to five minutes with the hair dryer on it, just drying the paint before we start on our next coat. You don't have to have a real hot setting on your hair dryer, just a warm setting will be fine. And uh, this paint will dry nice and smooth in about three to five minutes. Okay, next what we're going to do is just add just a little bit of hot pink here. I'm not going to put a whole bunch on there. We just want to just barely hit it here. And then I'm going to do the other side. And that's just going to kind of give it a little bit of hot pink iridescent color. So next we're going to get the hair dryer back out and dry that. Okay, we're just finishing up drying the hot paint and we're just about ready for the next color okay next in the process is the blue back and we're going to add that color I'm not going to add a lot just going to cover it nice and smooth get it up on the nose there maybe just touch on the sides just to give it some definition. Alright, we can get the hair dryer back out again. Okay, we're just finishing up the drying process for the blue top. We've been rolling it for about four or five minutes. And it's just about dry. So now we're ready for the next coat. Okay, next we're going to give our swim bait a white underbelly here. And I've got some white paint. We're going to turn it to the belly. I'm just going to give it a nice even coat of the white paint. It kind of bleeds over onto the sides, which is, I like it to bleed over onto the sides a little bit and kind of come up the sides. Give that a little bit of contrast there. Even it out. And it's starting to take shape. Alright, we're ready for the hair dryer again. Okay, we're wrapping up the uh, drying the white under belly right now. And uh, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a layer of clear coat. I'm not going to turn the camera on and show you that, but uh, I don't want to get it on the camera so I'm going to take the camera out of the shop for this but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a thin layer of clear coat on there and then I'm going to come back right after I put that on there and I'm going to put just a, a brief brushing of some small holographic glitter on both sides and that's going to kind of make it shine and then uh, we'll be ready to hang it up and let it dry. Okay, what I did was I put a uh, real thin coat of polycrylic on it, and uh, now I'm just going to add some uh, glitter, some holographic glitter. Just kind of spray that around on it. Get all the sides, get the top of it with it, and that's going to kind of make it stand out and shine a little bit in the water. Give it a lot of uh, distinct flash. 
Okay, so as far as painting it, that's uh, that's it. And we're gonna hang it up and let it dry before we start the next phase in the process. Okay, I just hung them up on the rack, and now the uh, Lanier blueback is drying. The Lanier blueback is the ones on the uh, left side. The regular bluebacks I made earlier, and they're on the right side. There's three of them, but uh, those are bluebacks and Lanier bluebacks. And the next uh, part is after they dry, I'll be putting a uh, coating of uh, epoxy resin on there, and then adding the eyes, and they'll be ready to go.